Hello and welcome to a quick introduction to Spacemax. This time we're going to look at Magit, the complete uh, client for Git. Uh, so I have a project here, it's another uh, Gitbook uh, project, uh, but it's not currently version controlled, so I'm going to press space G S for Git status, uh, and it's trying to find the Git repository, which you can't find because it doesn't exist. Uh, so I could use this Helm uh, pop-up to navigate to the right location, Happily, it just happens to be in the right location, so I just need to uh, click on the uh, what's called the dot, the name. So not the double dot, but the dot itself, and this will create a Git repository in the local directory. Here it's showing me, confirming me just where that uh, location is. So press yes, and now we're into Git status. We have a local repository which is uh, indicating at the bottom there that it's created and uh, we can track uh, our files, add our untracked files by just adding S. Uh, we can add them individually. Um, uh, I'm just going to add them all just by clicking S on the untracked section. If there was any of these files I didn't want then I could just press U and unstage them. But I'm going to, uh, uh, as I've already started working on these, I may as well just commit them all for the first commit. Not the, not the best commit I've ever made, but there we go. Um, so I can do a commit, commit quit, press CC twice, and then go into insert mode, pressing I, and uh, type in a meaningful commit message. Then I'm just going back into uh, normal mode, press, pressing escape, and uh, comma, comma will trigger a commit uh, to be saved. And I can go in and press L for list. Uh, I don't want a long list, and it shows me my commit message. Press enter, it shows me that I'm connected. Uh, I've already set my git config uh, for uh, user and uh, user email. Uh, so it knows who I am, and it's picking up my uh, little picture from Gravatar, I believe. And if I quit out of that, by pressing Q and Q again. Um, so I've got a local commit, but I need to push it into a repository. Um, I've created a repository on GitHub already, uh, so I'm just going to copy that URL. And now I want to be able to add that. Again, I'm going to go back and do that inside uh, Maggot. So how do I do that? Well, if we have a look at the help, just by pressing question mark, you can see there's a, a capital M for remoting. I'm going to press that, so I'm going to do capital M, and it's given me a pop-up uh, configuration where I can set uh, different things. The actions down the bottom there, I can add, rename, remove, uh, remotes. So in this case, I'm going to add a remote. I press A. Uh, control Y will paste my um, remote address in there that I copied from the web page. Press Enter. Uh, oops, I forgot about that, haven't I? <laughs> um, oh, I should have typed Origin for that. Okay, let's go back for a second. It's Control G to quit out of that. So it's space. Uh, so Shift uh, M, capital M. And I'm going to add, I want the remote name to be origin, if I can spell. Press enter, then the remote URL. Now we can do uh, control Y to paste in the GitHub uh, web address. Press enter, and I want to set that to default. Uh, yes, I do. And it says not there. So in the top in the top status it says origins master is missing. Obviously we haven't pushed it to GitHub yet, so it's not going to be able to find it. So Ma Maggot uses something called Maggot Hub to go and look at um, not just the commits, but it can also look at the um, the issues and pull requests that are on there. Things neither of those are actually on there yet, so it's not showing as much. So if we want to do a push, uh, and if we open up uh, the help again just by using question mark. We can see that push is uh, done by capital P. So we can press capital P 
and then we've got some options. Uh, if we needed to force a push, we could do minus F. Uh, but as it's the first time, we can just push, and it's in the push to master. And the push to section, it's got this P push to origin master. That's the remote that we've just added. Uh, so we can just press P again, and off it goes. And a few seconds later, it should update and show instead of origin master missing, it should show us the same commit uh, as it does on our local master. So our local master, which is head, uh, our ro remote, which is push, and now we've got the same commits. And if we're if we don't quite believe Emacs, we can always go and check on GitHub again. I'm just going to refresh the page, and there's our code, and that's it. So we can do pretty much what we need to do with Maggot. We don't need a separate tool, and uh, it's very simple to actually. Commit, create a new uh, repository and add a remote to it and push and now I can just keep on adding extra work to my project and whenever I want to go back and do some more commits and staging I can just press space G S to go back to the status and see what what's actually going on. Uh, I hope this was useful and thanks for listening. Thank you.